Matthew Peter Smith, also known as Nimrod of Victoria St. Mark, who resided in Violent St. Andrew and Main God's Road, Freeport, Trinidad, passed away on Sunday, 24th September, at the age of 62. He was a father of Marvel, Maxine, Maricel, and Mackesy Smith, grandfather of Caleb Henry, his fiancée, Kelta Bruce, brother of Diana Mitchell, Alstead, Paul, and Miriam Smith, uncle of Clive Mitchell, Andrea Suralai, Wendy and Victor, Melinda, Michael, Paul, Abigail, Pauline, Marvin Smith, and Curlin Gilbert, brother-in-law of Yvonne and Paula Smith, cousin of Geraldine Hille, Patrick Stephen, and Wayne Alexander, many other relatives and friends including Nugent Smith and family, Maria Jones and family, Jean Langine and family, the Jerome family of Diamond St. Mark, Pastor Frankie Noel, Peter Morris, friends and neighbors in Grenada and Trinidad. The funeral of the late Matthew Peter Smith, also known as Nimrod, of Victoria St. Mark, who resided in Bylan St. Andrew and Main Got Road, Freeport, Trinidad, will be held on Tuesday, 3rd October at 1 p.m. at the Pioneer Seventh-day Adventist Church, Trinidad. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacroix Brothers Funeral Home. Joseph Pear, also known as Lindsay, of Lafayette St. Andrew, former employee of Jonas Brown and Hubbard Limited, passed away on Saturday 9th September 2023 at the age of 82. He was the husband of Gladys Pear, father of Michael Henry, Jude Bubb and Henry Jones in Grenada, Esther Olive in the UK, Lucille James, Lucien Pear, Kenneth Pear, Gloria Romaine, Lindonna Ertha Noel, and Sherry Connett in the USA, grandfather of 29, great-grandfather of 27, brother of Geraldine Garrett and Teresa Williams, father-in-law of Leonie Henry, Alma Bubb, Chrisma Jones, Alexander James, Desmond Olive, Joseph Romaine, Kenneth Antwine, Sylvan Noel and Roxanne Canterbury, brother-in-law of Teresa Mays in London and Lenora Wilson, uncle of many too numerous to mention, many other relatives and friends including the Marcel, Sherman, Chichester and Charles families of Lafayette, the Alexis family of Mirabeau and in England, the Antoine family of Grenville, the James family of Happy Hill and Beaulieu, the Romaine family of Bonaire, the Noel family of St. Clouds, and friends and neighbors of Paradise and Lafayette. The funeral of the late Joseph Pear, also known as Lindsay, of Lafayette St. Andrew, will take place on Thursday, October 5th at 12.30 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the Grenville Roman Catholic Church and entombment will be at the Grand Brow Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Lynn Lowe of Ladigue St. Andrew, who resided in Connecticut, USA, died on Tuesday, 29th August 2023, at the age of 62, left to mourn her, her husband Godwin Lowe in the USA. Children Janelle, Shonel, Nazelle, Giselle and Lyndon in the USA. Siblings Philip, Joseph in Canada, Franklin, Adrian, Joan, Ira, Sheila and Stanley. Thirteen grandchildren including Katura and Junior in the USA, Kobe, Leisha and Selena. Three great-grands. Nieces and nephews Julianne, Shirley, Reginald, Stacy, and many others. Sons-in-law Wayne and Jelani George, Darion Mack and Kevin Simon. Four brothers-in-law, three sisters-in-law. Friends and family, Janice Griffith, Katura Peterkin, the St. Louis family, the Wilshire family, the Paul family, the Best and Edwards families in the USA, and friends and family of Ladigue and in the USA. The funeral service for the late Lynn Lowe of Ladigue St. Andrew, who resided in Connecticut, USA, will take place on Thursday, October 5th at 1 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the Grenville Lighthouse Pentecostal Church and interment will be at the Grand Bra Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. James Alexander Joseph, also known as Mr. Thing and Mr. Clement of Corinth St. David, who resided at Bonnet St. Mark, passed away on Saturday, 23rd September, at the age of 89. He was the father of Jerry Joseph, Valin Young, also known as Valo. Peter Joseph in the USA, 
Homie in Canada, Larry John, also known as Irie, Steve, Margaret, and Teresa Williams, also known as Little. Grandfather of many including Maria Andrew, Kiara Joseph, Ariana Young, Nasha and Cindy Williams, Garfield and Dylan Wildman, great grandfather of many, father in law of Novely Barrington, Annie Young and Patricia Joseph, uncle of many including Samuel Sylvester, Young Francis, Eric Agard, Joey and Joy, many cousins, other relatives and close friends including the Agard and Joseph families of Lassages and Corinth, the Bonaparte and Sylvester families of St. David, Mr. Frank and Wilma Sam, Ken Don, also known as Ben, geriatric caregivers, friends and neighbors of St. David, Victoria, Bonnet and surrounding areas, the funeral service of the leads, James Alexander Joseph, also known as Mr. Ting and Mr. Clement of Corinth St. David, who resided at Bonnet St. Mark, will take place on Thursday, 5th October at 2 p.m. The funeral service will be held at the Victoria Bible Holiness Church St. Mark and entombment will be at the Coast Guard Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to the Quad Brothers Funeral Home. Fitzroy Mason, also known as Sea Egg and Mace, of Caliste, who resided at Settlement Road, frequently St. George, former employee of Customs and Excise and a well-known shopkeeper, passed away on Friday, 22nd September 2023, at the age of 77. He was the husband of Lillian Alexander, father of Anderson Alexander, grandfather of Skye and Avery Alexander, father-in-law of Nikita Billy, brother of Ulrich, Frank, Thaddeus, Maureen and Carolyn Mason, Michael and Sonia Moore, and Gemma Phillip, uncle of many including Matthew Lewis, Shane, Anika, Kioma, Troy, Lyndon, and Lindona Mason. Many other relatives and close friends, including Stanley Fraser, Michael Stewart, Michelle Samuel, The Brown, Roberts, Frederick, Mark, Billy, Smith, and Reddit families, and friends and neighbors of Caliste, Frequenty, and surrounding areas. The funeral of the late Fitzroy Mason, also known as Sea Egg and Mace, of Caliste, who resided at Settlement Road, frequently St. George, will take place on Friday, October 6th at 1 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the Grand Arms Baptist Church, Maurice Bishop Highway, and interment will be at the Grand Arms Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. William Cadu, better known as Kim, of Windsor Forest, St. David, passed away on Wednesday, September 20th, 2023, at the age of 48. The funeral arrangements for the late William Cadu, better known as Kim, of Windsor Forest, St. David, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Anthony Mahorn, also known as Cody, of Corinth, St. David, died on Saturday, September 30th, 2023, at the age of 57. The funeral arrangements for the late Anthony Mahorn, also known as Cody, of Corinth St. David, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Agnes Cynthia Hippolyte, also known as Auntie Cynthia of Bellevue St. David, passed away on Friday 29th September 2023 at the age of 86. The funeral arrangements for the late Agnes Cynthia Hippolyte, also known as Auntie Cynthia of Bellevue St. David, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. When a loved one passes on, we all need the comfort, support and guidance of a trusted friend. You can rely on Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. We provide a personalized professional service that exceeds all expectations. Our dedicated staff responds to your every need with the greatest detail, ensuring affordability with a variety of options. Our upgraded state-of-the-art facilities, spacious air-conditioned chapel with live internet streaming, a modern environmentally safe crematorium, the only of its kind on island, private viewing spaces, large on-site repast center, a modern transportation fleet. Join our burial society today and make personalized arrangements for that final moment as you prepare to enter your loved one into eternal rest. 
Visit or call the Quar Brothers Funeral Home and select a package that brings added comfort to the entire family. The Quar Brothers Funeral Home and Burial Society, continuing a tradition of excellence. Archbishop Veronica Hines, also known as Mother Hines and Vero, of Spring St. George, passed away on Wednesday, 27th September 2023, at the age of 87. The funeral arrangements for the late Archbishop Veronica Hines, also known as Mother Hines and Vero, of Spring St. George, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Patrick Tellesford of Creighton St. George died on Saturday, 16th September, at the age of 94. The funeral arrangements of the late Patrick Tellesford of Creighton St. George will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Ina Hilda Lewis, also known as Liz, of Victoria St. Mark, who resided at Crochu St. Andrew, passed away on Monday, 18th September, 2023 at the age of 93. The funeral arrangements for the late Ina Hilda Lewis, also known as Liz, of Victoria St. Mark, who resided at Crochu St. Andrew, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Mary Virginia Francois, also known as Olive Alexander and I.E. of Mount Craven St. Patrick, passed away on Tuesday, September 5, 2023 at the age of 90. The funeral arrangements for the late Mary Virginia Francois, also known as Olive Alexander and I.E. of Mount Craven St. Patrick, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Veronica Frank, also known as Tarn Vero of Victoria St. Mark, who resided at Vendom St. George and in Canada. Passed away on Monday, 25th September 2023, at the age of 88. The funeral arrangements for the late Veronica Frank, also known as Tarn Vero, of Victoria St. Mark, who resided at Vendom St. George and in Canada, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Carly Paul, also known as Brother Lou of Coles Gap St. David. Passed away on Friday, 22nd September 2023, at the age of 72. The funeral arrangements for the late Carly Paul, also known as Brother Lou, of Coles Gap St. David, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Rupert Ethelbert Link, of Lamode and St. George Estate, St. George, who resided in the USA. Passed away on Thursday, September 14, 2023, at the age of 89. The funeral arrangements for the late Rupert Ethelbert Link of Lamode and St. George Estate St. George, who resided in the USA, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Gladys Simon Nee Campbell, also known as Miss Gladys or Simon, of Cornet's Walk, War St. John, passed away on Saturday 9th September 2023, at the age of 99. The funeral arrangements for the late Gladys Simon Nee Campbell, also known as Miss Gladys or Simon, of Cornet's Walk, War St. John, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Alithia Myrtle Jean Thompson, also known as Auntie Jean of Rosil St. Patrick, passed away on Saturday, 23rd September 2023, at the age of 93. The funeral arrangements for the late Alithia Myrtle Jean Thompson, also known as Auntie Jean of Rosil St. Patrick, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Gemma Antoine Wilson of Gwarv St. John, who resided at Bonaire St. Mark, a distinguished and much-loved mathematics and Bible knowledge teacher and former deputy head teacher of the St. Mark Secondary School, passed away on Monday 28th August 2023 at the age of 67. The funeral arrangements for the late Gemma Antoine Wilson of Gwarv St. John 
who resided at Bonaire St. Mark, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Freenwall arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Freenwall Home. Elsia Ferguson, MBE, also known as Teacher Elsa and Elsie, of Wharf St. John, who resided at Warburn St. George, died on Thursday, September 14, 2023, in Tobago, at the age of 75. The funeral arrangements for the late Elsia Ferguson, MBE, also known as Teacher Elsa and Elsie, of Wharf St. John, who resided at Woburn St. George, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Teresa Antoine, also known as Cooley, of Central Wharf Estate St. John, who resided in Canada, passed away on Wednesday, 23rd August 2023 at the age of 59. The funeral arrangements for the late Teresa Antoine, also known as Cooley, of Central Guav Estate St. John, who resided in Canada, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Jean Agnes Bartholomew of New Hampshire St. George passed away on Wednesday 13 September 2023 at the age of 71. The funeral arrangements for the late Jean Agnes Bartholomew of New Hampshire St. George will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Roxani Jason Marshall, also known as Rox, of Wharf St. John, passed away on Thursday, 14 September 2023, at the age of 47. The funeral arrangements for the late Roxani Jason Marshall also known as Rox, of Wharf St. John, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Lorraine John, also known as Lolo, and Gary Wright, of Marley St. Patrick, passed away on Wednesday, September 6, 2023, at the age of 64. The funeral arrangements for the late Lorraine John, also known as Lolo, and Gary Wright, of Marley St. Patrick will be given any subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Dennis Albert Dragon, also known as Cock, of St. Paul's, who resided at Calivany St. George, passed away on Saturday, 16 September 2023, at the age of 74. The funeral arrangements for the late Dennis Albert Dragon, also known as Cock, of St. Paul's, who resided at Calivany St. George, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Reverend George Milton Guy, also known as Gapman, of Lauriston Kariku, passed away on Tuesday, September 12, 2023, at the age of 68. The funeral arrangements for the late Reverend George Milton Guy, also known as Gapman, of Lauriston Kariaku, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. In loving memory of Fitzroy Bernard Boatswain of Happy Hill, who resided at Beauceju St. George, and passed away on Thursday, 29th September 2022, and was entombed on Tuesday, November 8, 2022. God knew that you were suffering. He knew you were in pain. He saw the road was getting rough, and the hills were hard to climb. So he closed your eyes and whispered, Peace be thine. It broke our hearts to lose you, but you did not go alone. A part of us went with you the day God took you home. Remembering you is your mother, Elmina, brothers, sisters, nieces, nephews, other relatives and friends. May your soul rest in peace. Funeral arrangements were entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. The management and staff of MTV extend deepest condolences to those of you whose loved ones have passed on. Thank you for watching. Fourteen and verse thirteen. Blessed is the dead that die in the Lord. If your loved one died in the Lord, you have nothing 
to worry about. You could be confident that that one is in a better place. But what about you who are left behind to mourn? What if you had been called? Were you ready? If you are not ready, you can be ready while you are alive. The word of God says it's appointed unto man wants to die. But after this is the judgment. So you can live. And after death, you're going to live forever. You would not be disintegrated into nothing. You would be living forever. So while you are alive is the time to be ready to meet the Lord. I would like to encourage you to give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ while you are still on the earth. There is no repentance after death. The time is now. The Lord Jesus Christ gave his life on the cross so that you can have life. And while you are living, is the time to make it right with the Lord. Jonah said in, in Jonah chapter 4 and verse 3, yeah. it is better to die than to live. So the dead should be happy if they die in the Lord. If you are not sure that you are ready, if your time comes, you can be ready. You can be ready even at this very moment. If you'd only open your heart to receive the Lord Jesus Christ and pray this simple prayer, just say, Lord Jesus, I am sad because my loved one has gone, but I am left behind and I want to be ready when my time comes. So I'm asking you to forgive me for my sins. I'm asking you to give me eternal life. Forgive me, cleanse me from all unrighteousness and save me so that when my time comes, I can live with you. I trust that you meant what you said. I trust that you believe the word of God. And as we end this program for you, with you, encouraging you, strengthening you in your time of sorrow, your preparation for your time should be now. God bless you and see you next time. Amen. <laughs>